Good morning, you guys. Today is Thursday, May 23rd, and I had a request to show you how I do my morning slide. So I'm just gonna show you really quick. I actually graduated yesterday with my master's degree, and I told my whole class I wasn't gonna be here yesterday. They had a sub yesterday, and I was graduating. So I'm gonna post my morning message on the board, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's super quick, super easy. Hopefully it works out. We have nine more days of school left. Uh. I think eight more days. I don't even know everything's like a hot mess right now So I am on Google Drive right now and I have its own little thing called morning message I pretty much have like a template set up. So for example, here's my Monday I always add a new bitmoji and I always have happy Monday and then I just change the date and we pretty much do the same thing every single morning It takes me like two seconds to do this in the morning So sometimes we work out of the journey journey's notebook page or sometimes I just put a math sheet on their desk put random bitmojis on So let me show you how I do the bitmoji So I'm actually gonna put a picture of me in my cap and gown right here But if I wanted to add a bitmoji, I just ha you have to add your bitmoji on It's an extension that I just added on I am able to add in any bitmoji I want and I really just add the bitmoji with how I feel for the day I'm just gonna add my picture in insert image um, Upload from computer and then it should be in here somewhere <laughs> I had to cut out my boyfriend because my kids freak out when they see my boyfriend and I just don't want to deal with it today Okay, you guys it is after school. I guess I'll just tell you how my day went. Um, my day went pretty well It was really fast-paced and chaotic. So <laughs> All right. Okay, I think we have eight more days left or nine more days left. Let me check. Nine, nine more days left. So we have nine more days left. I am super pumped. I am super excited. Let me go into my mistake in my first year teaching. Just in case I didn't say this in the beginning, this is my first year teaching. I teach third grade and I'm in Southern California and I was intern teaching, so I never even got to student teach. So everything was just a huge learning curve. So one of the mistakes that I did in the beginning was I did not teach my procedures explicitly. And I'm gonna go into this for my new teacher tips video I'm gonna be making over the summer. I wish I would have, and what I'm gonna do next year. Like you literally have to teach the students how to walk in in the morning. I didn't even do that. Like I was just like, okay, come in, come in, sit down. And I didn't even think about what I was gonna have them do in the mornings while I'm busy doing like teacher stuff, like attendance and lunch count and notes and papers. So I didn't even think about it and that was a huge mistake. I remember, believe me, your first year teaching is like a blur sometimes. I remember being like, okay, well, I'm just gonna find some math practice forms. I'll find something on TPT. So I'll show you what I found. I found this and my first initial reaction was to use it for morning work. Here it is. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm gonna link the user down below. This was off TPT. I think it was 20 bucks. Best 20 bucks I ever spent. One, because I actually only use this for morning work one time and then I'm like, okay, no, this isn't working out. I mean, it could, but I didn't teach the procedure, so it was a hot mess. Instead, I use this for homework. So this is a really good idea for homework. It's a one page of math and it's like, a spiral review. It's really awesome and it goes by quarter. So definitely check that person out if you'd like to down below. So what I should have done and what I will do next year, you literally have to teach your kids how to walk in and look at the board. So I literally, after winter break, after my life was more together as a teacher, I kind of figured out how my mornings wanted to go. And I wanted my mornings to go like, I wanted my kids to walk in the door. I wanted them to look at the board and see what they had to do in the morning. Started incorporating my morning PowerPoint after winter break and it has changed my life. Advice would be try to keep it the same, like do the same thing all year. If you change it up, it's really, kind of like stressful to try to like teach a new procedure in the middle of the year, but sometimes you just gotta do it and that's what happened to me. Okay, so like I showed you earlier, this was my morning message for today and it just gives really explicit directions on what to do and it's the same thing we do every day, but I make sure to include that in my PowerPoint presentation or my Google slide. Unload your backpacks, work on Journey's book volume two, and I actually usually have a picture of the book I want them to use because pictures are everything. So for example, look at this one. I always include this picture if they're working out of their um, journeys book, which I should have done. And then um, I always tell them do not 
turn in, you're gonna work on the other side tomorrow. The reason why it's a good idea to have morning work is so the kids know exactly what to do. They won't come up and bother you and they won't be all noisy and crazy because they know what to do. They'll have it on their desk. And what I'm gonna be doing for the last week of school, instead of working out their journeys books, I have a lot of leftover papers I didn't use this year. So that's gonna be their morning work, waiting for them on their desk. They work on it and they turn it in. Next year, I think I wanna incorporate some journal rights and some reflections and I might even ha like start incorporating that onto the Chromebooks. That's my goal for next year. So we're going to try that out next year. That'll be fun to do next year, but this year this is what I do. Thank you guys so much for following me along on my journey. I hope this was helpful to anyone who needed it. Again, it's like when you're a new teacher, you don't even think about the little details like morning work. But I think the best thing is just to have it on your board every morning. Kids know what to do. Do not bother me. You know what to do. That way you can get your stuff done too. Alrighty. Thank you guys so much for watching me. I really hope it was helpful and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.